Welcome everybody here to our next uh, webinar at uh, JFD Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFD Bank as well. Today we have the 16th of January 2020 and my name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for those kind of uh, webinars. The English one about uh, JFD Invest, uh, there's a German version as well. And that is, I think, typically on Friday and held by Christian Kemmerer. Since it's the first uh, webinar of this year for me personally, I wish you all the best for 2020. I hope you have had already a good start into the new year. And what we talk today is JFD Invest, a genuine experience for traders. So in general, JFD Invest is a social trading platform. It's a wealth management platform. It's portfolio management. And there are trading strategies and you can follow those trading strategies by um, your own JFD Invest account. That means you follow professional traders, their ideas behind trading and your job is finally just the job of a portfolio manager selecting those strategies you like and which fit to your preferences. You will see it's not always just a matter of performance or returns. No, there might be other criteria you have in mind to select those strategies which really fit to your preferences because um, how risk affine you are. Hmm is totally different for any individual. So therefore, what we talk today here is I will introduce the JFD Invest platform and I will in introduce the key figures we present at uh, JFD Invest in order to make it much more easier for you to do that kind of decisions. And finally, of course, I will show how to create a portfolio. So more or less all the steps you need to get started or even further down the road. So let's start with the highlights of uh, last week uh, because we always send out a newsletter about that. And um, last week, best performer has been the strategy BIP generator and uh, within that week, close to 2%. But we will look to the complete history as well. And I don't want to hide anything, but um, therefore you will see mm, it's a critical strategy because it's just trading British pound US dollar and still everybody knows there's um, still ongoing discussions about Brexit and no Brexit and anything. So British pound is a little bit crucial um, as we speak still and that now since uh, more than two years, I think. But anyhow, we have BIP Generator as the best performer of last week, but let's uh, have a view on Neptune and Angelius as well, um, because well, they are doing a quite good job. Let's uh, see those complete historical data as well. JFD in West, you, if you like, you can just start uh, at the homepage of JFD Bank. And uh, there we have uh, a button which is simply investing. And that is exactly the one I press now. So then we are at uh, JFD in West. And let me first scroll down because then you see a little bit more of what we are really talking about. You see here a summary of the five top performing strategies. And in this case, top performing is not um just restricted for the last week as in the email newsletter now that's the overall performance since inception uh so since the strategy has been started to trade and that is even before jfd invest has been launched because we have strategies um here on the list which are older than uh, jfd invest but that's good that we have much more historical data about any historical performance. That's a quite important aspect, um, even for selecting strategies by your own. But what you see, we are talking about double digit growth numbers for those strategies. And as you see, I mentioned already in Jalius, um, which has been third place um, in the weekly performance. Um, 
a hit list, but overall, it's a third one here as well, but with a total return of 26%. There are other strategies, oh, Hyperion, for example, uh, we will look to that one as well, the top performer here, uh, that has a critical situation over the last couple of months, um, but we will talk about that as well. You see, that's return. The other really very important key figure is equity balance deviation, and I will introduce that key figure as well. But you see already, a minus doesn't uh, sound that good, and you're right, and um, the lower the number, so uh, let's say the higher the number, um, that's not correct mathematically wise, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, that's a little bit like risk. So you see high risk, high return, it's not completely true here, but um, it's a little bit like that. If you involve more risk, you might have even higher returns. But I emphasize might. There's no guarantee at all. Oh, guarantee. That's a critical point. Um, let me jump back to my slides. I forgot to mention the risk disclaimer at the beginning, but anyhow, it should be mentioned at least once during your webinar, and I will do it now. Um, we talk about investments, we talk about investing, trading strategies, trading at all. But finally, whatever you do, of course, you do it on your own and your own responsibility. I think that's quite self explaining. That uh, has to be mentioned in any webinar. Okay, done deal. Back to the performance. You see last month, year to date. Okay, year to date is not that meaningful. Um, it was the 16th of January. But you see what I mentioned already. Hyperion has some problems. Uh, yeah, and we see that uh, in the year to date result. Um, so let's have a view on that as well. But now, how can you be part of JFD Invest? Okay, quite simple. Here are the four steps to be part of uh, JFD Invest. The first thing is you sign up for a JFD Invest profile. That's simply by pressing the green button here. That means there's no money involved. It's just a registration uh, process with your email uh, and your given password. And then you might have even, or you will have even more details about trading strategies if you log into your JFD Invest profile. Second thing is you would need a special account, uh, a special trading account. And even if you are happily already a client of uh, JFD Bank, you need an extra one. And simple reason, or simple two reasons. The one is um, you follow professional traders. And that means you get the same conditions in terms of leverage of that account. Uh, therefore, you need a special account. And the other reason you might not like, but you're not really trade by your own. In a sense, like you cannot open a trade like uh, going long Euro, US dollar. With that account, you just follow trading strategies out of JFT in West, nothing else. Then you connect the two and you can start after uh, depositing uh, some money on your account, you can start um, with JFD Invest and following trading strategies. So that's quite easy and quite um, convenient, I think. But now let's really jump into JFD Invest and let's see a little bit more about the, the platform itself and the trading strategies we uh, have seen already briefly uh, on the home page. But now you see the list is uh, longer than just the top five performers. Um, and there's the second page here. So in total, there are 13 strategies. Um, we have removed a few, uh, just um, for maintenance reasons. But uh, I think that was a good step anyhow. So here is the complete list of the first 10 trading strategies. And I mentioned already uh, the second page. But now the process starts. And what I do here now should be more or less the same you might do when it comes to your selecting procedure. It's a little bit about looking to the numbers, but not just the one table. No, I always would jump into more details of any trading strategies. So, for example, let's jump into Hyperion, the top performance strategy, and uh, let's see more details about that strategy. We start always with the overall growth. And you can see exactly what I mentioned since September last year, there was the all time high. Uh, we have a drawdown phase here. And that phase is still ongoing as already 
been seen by the year-to-date number for that strategy, which was uh, minus 20%. Let's see two things. One, the overall growth is still quite a good strategy, performing good, but you see there are huge upper doubts. And that is something I mean with it comes to your own preferences. So you might think, okay, the, the performance strategy is brilliant, but the drawdowns might be too high for your preferences. And there's no good or bad. It's just a matter of your preferences. And therefore, it's simply, finally, always your own decision. And we help you already in order to see that. You see the graph, okay. You see the monthly return table, okay. And there you can see numbers, for example, like um, minus 20% or in the historic data we have uh, November last year already mean minus 20. Okay, that belongs to trading as well. So you may think too risky. Okay, let's skip the strategy. But that's, of course, your decision. But nevertheless, let me brief you a little bit more about other key figures. But there's one uh, which is really quite important, which is so-called equity balance deviation. And equity balance deviation is simply a measure of so-called floating losses. Okay, maybe a bad explanation, uh, because what are floating losses? Okay, it's simply um, your open trades. If you have open trades, those trades might be positive or might be negative, but floating losses, not realized. But it's important to know that number as well, because if that number is in maximum for, for Hyperion 60%, that would mean if you follow with 10K, there have been a point in time with 6K floating losses. Maybe too high for you? Okay, I understood. But that's important um, meaning of that number, that you know exactly about uh, equity balance deviation. And you see, you can have that or even versus time. And you see that Hyperion is a strategy with lots of open trades almost any time. And those trades might be in the minus as we speak. You can see more details about any strategy. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can see the trade instruments, for example, and here you will uh, learn that that strategy is mainly trading two indices, um, DAX and uh, Dow Jones. Okay, even that might be in the, uh, one of, of your selection um, criteria, what kind of underlyings are being traded. Okay, in this case, indices, DAX and Dow Jones. And of course, you see much more statistics like um, trading statistics, how many trades have been execu executed. It's good to know that the longer the history, hmm, the better uh, you, you have more details about the strategy. So that is one example in this case, Hyperion. Okay, let me introduce you another example and um, let's go for, uh, let's start with Angelius, for example. It was um, as, um, top number three uh, as we speak, and here is the overall growth of Angelius. Okay, it's much more steady than uh, Hyperion. You see already, you, you, I think you learn more and more here how to interpret any graph. You see maximum equity balance deviation not exceeding 10%, so not that high floating losses. Very good. Okay, the downside might be there was a steady growth for four months and now we have three months more or less sideways. Yeah, but that's trading. Um, so overall last year was 28%. So you see the monthly return table. Okay, I know ideally that would be totally green. And we have almost examples for that. So keep in mind, um, uh, yes, I know I have to think, um, keep in mind uh, Butterfly and Forex Gun. Those strategies uh, have almost green monthly return tables. So, but now let's dive into that strategy a little bit deeper as well. So here you can see, Lots of traded instruments, um, about 10 different instruments uh, or forex um, pairs. In this case, more or less equally distributed, uh, at least um, not 
completely equally, but anyhow, uh, there's no high preference uh, for any specific symbol. So there's diversification within the trading strategy itself, which is always nice. And um, let's look for the equity balance deviation of this strategy as well. And you can see totally different behavior compared to Hyperion. And in this case, maximum value was close to 10 or nine, um, but overall, in most cases, not that high as we speak. Yes, we have uh, floating losses, um, as we speak, 3.66%. So, nevertheless, a good example for a strategy, which is doing a quite good job, um, different instruments. And now, since I mentioned already uh, Butterfly, um, yeah, let's look to that and let's see how green the monthly return to will actually is indeed and you see okay there's one negative month um, and that was november last year but overall all the other months uh, have been positive so that is really looking quite nice um looks like the trader of the strategy um, has been on vacation here uh, so therefore we have a flat line here but now it's trading once again so first up um, positive trades are already within um, the basket here. So that's very nice. Traded instruments, um, or let's always start with equity balance deviation first. And here uh, you see, okay, there was, uh, it was last year May, uh, close to 10, but overall mm, looks good. Um, I like it. Uh, at least I like it personally, but you may think different about any strategy. So overall, one year was with about 20%, not a bad result. So um, that might be something um, for you as well, hopefully. Traded instruments, always a good choice to have a view on that. And here we can see, okay, there are seven different instruments more or less the main, uh, the major pairs, uh, so to say, uh, not completely, but um, I would not call uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar a major, but anyhow, close to all uh, major pairs here. And there has been one trade on US dollar Swiss form, but overall, most of the trades have been executed, Euro, US dollar, British pound, US dollar, and US dollar, Japanese yen. Okay. Um, What's typical for those? Okay, we call them major. The other um, typical behavior of those uh, underlyings is they have really tight spreads, which is good when it comes to uh, a higher frequency of trading. And as you can see, number of trades uh, exceeding already 2,500 trades. So there's real statistics behind, which is always good to have uh, that as well. Finally, of course, I show the um, top performer of last week, which is on the second page, uh, as you can see, and that is a BIP generator. And simply, I don't want to hide that graph here as well. Completely different story about that strategy, isn't it? Um, so overall growth, mm, I know, uh, close to zero, but the strategy is, I would call it in a waiting situation. When it really comes down with British pound, US dollar, because that is the instrument that strategy is being trading and uh, and it's uh, just British pound, US dollar. Let's see what happens with that strategy if we have a calm down phase of British pound. Um, I think there's a good chance that we go north again. So that's the way how you do your own selection procedure. Look to the key figures, look for equity balance deviation, look for traded instruments, drawdowns, and then I hope you can find a good way for your own decisions. But now it's up to what really happens if you create your own portfolio. Let's have a view on that as well. So now I'm logging in, as you can see. Um, as you do with your own profile. And if you have a JFD Invest account behind, then you can allocate money to a given strategy. On a first view, it looks the same. You see it still as BIP generator is open. But now, how can I follow that strategy? Okay, let's do this step. Uh, not finally, but 
at least that you see how easy it is. It's just pressing the button follow. And now you see, okay, there is money allocation. There's a minimum amount, which you can find under the under details of the strategy here as well. But now we have it already here displayed uh, with 1,300 euros. So that is the minimum number you need, the minimum account size in order to follow BIP generator. Of course, I have, in this case, I have still available close to 9,000. Of course, you can invest more into the strategy and then everything would be scaled. Okay, that's one part. It's how much money you allocate to a given strategy. The other part is so-called risk management. That's something cool as well. Uh, let's assume we follow with 2000. And now let's press the button risk management. So then I can explain what it really means. So I would follow with 2000. And now I have a slider here. Let's put it the slider for example, 50%. And that means Whenever you would lose percent of your current uh, allocated money, which is 2,000, which would mean 1,000 strategy, if, if, if there would be a loss of 1,000, then it's like a stop loss on normal trading, but on strategy level now. So all open trades would be closed and no new trades would be opened with that strategy. Good. So there's a stop loss. The other thing, but you have to keep in mind, think about Hyperion, and we would follow Hyperion with this um, risk management of 20%. Mm, that wouldn't, that would not be a good decision, I think, uh, because as you have seen, there are always floating losses for that strategy exceeding that number. So you would more or less automatically be stopped out. Um, over but it's a tool to manage your risk, and that's good that you have it. I don't want to hide that number because if you follow a strategy, there's a performance fee involved um, and uh, this is 25%. There's no management fee. So there's no base costs or something you have to pay every month. Performance fee, what, what does it mean? And the other good thing is the performance fee is um, paid after a high watermark principles. Performance means performance. So if you earn 2, 000, uh, 200 euros uh, with that strategy, yes, then in this case, you would have to pay uh, 50 euros for that strategy. Okay, um, but what means high watermark? Okay, only if you reach on a month's end base new highs with your followed strategy, then you would have to pay additional fees. So you see, high watermark is quite fair. Um, so just an up and down, up and down does not mean automatically that you have to pay for every up step uh, some fees. No, only with new highs for your followed strategy. And then only, of course, to the performance, the 25%, not to the overall amount of money you have allocated to that strategy. So that's high watermark and that's a performance fee. You may think, hmm, high number. I don't think so, because um, the good thing is you only have to pay if there's money earned. So um, that's that's a good thing of that story. But that's the way how to follow a strategy. And same you can do later. You would see on allocations which strategies you are following. In this case, I follow PowerFX and Angelius. Um I'm not heavily invested as we speak. Um, only within those two strategies. Yeah, and what does it mean uh, to unfollow at any time? Simple action, stop allocation. Pressing that button and one additional confirmation button would close all trades and no new trades would be opened with that given strategy. It's really easy. You see, all we do here, do directly on the web page of Drifty Bank. So that means finally, wherever you are, even on vacation, if you have access to the internet, you can, de you can do your job as portfolio manager. You can select new strategies, jump in or jump out if you don't like a given strategy, uh, not anymore. And you can do that wherever you are. 
which is really cool because that means you don't need any extra computer, server, uh, expert advisors, something you have to manage and to maintain. No, everything can be done wherever you are. And that is really cool. But nevertheless, you have a job. And that job is portfolio manager of your own portfolio. And that means selecting those strategies you like and which really fit to your personal preferences. That's, by the way, the reason that we have so many details and so many key figures, because we want uh, you to be good, uh, as good informed as possible about your selection process and because you need information to do that kind of decisions and therefore we um, cover that many key figures, statistics and additional information about any strategy. You see, it's quite easy to, to go on with uh, JFD Invest and um, if you have any further questions, no problem, you can contact either info uh, support at jfdbank.com or you can even contact me if you like s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com of course we will help you with any questions but the decision which strategy you should follow is up to you and it's a, your own decision that's for now i hope you enjoyed the webinar if of course, once again, if you have any further question, please contact us, uh, no problem. That's for now, see you later, uh, in two weeks, I think. Then we have the next um, webinar about JFD West. Have a good time, bye-bye.